What's going on guys? My name is Risky. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2019 on my channel here today. And we are back on our Ravenport uh, Let's Play or whatever. Uh, we're going to be doing some cultivating and sowing or whatnot on this episode. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've been I've made an episode of this. Uh, mainly because the last few days I've tried to record this. I'll hop on and I'll play and my game will like crash. Like My PlayStation will completely freeze up. And it'll do some really weird stuff. I have no idea. I hope it doesn't happen during this recording. If so, then, uh, well, looks like we're not going to be doing farm sim for quite some time until I figure out why it's doing that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop up in our Mahindra Retriever, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's go to this thing. Uh, what do we do? Where do we do it? I think we go here. And I'm going to look up our growth here. Uh, so we got field 15. It's been a while since I've played on this, so I can't really remember. Uh, so 24 is nothing. 20, oh yeah, didn't we do this? Yeah, we did. Harvested, and then we cultivated this and everything. So we can go to field 21 and plant it. And 26 is ready to harvest as well. 24, we're not messing with 24. Uh, 15 is ready to harvest. Okay. 15, all right, 22, we need to cultivate. All right, so we're going to cultivate field 22, and then we're going to uh, lime it, I think. And then we will plant in both of those fields, 21 and 22. So that is going to be our objective today. So we need to grab our cultivator, which is that thing right there. And I think we should hook it up to the, hmm, I think the this one right here, the uh, T7, will work just fine for us. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume very quickly. But let's go ahead and hook up to this thing. Back it on up. And is this, yeah, this is the cultivator, okay. Uh, we can go this way, I guess. I want to make another path that's going through here with the landscaping. That's kind of like leading onto the road. I don't know. We'll figure that out in the future. Uh, so we had to go down to field 22 and 21. Okay, field 22 should be right here. And yes, it is. And this is the one that we actually limed last episode. So this episode, we're going to be cultivating all of the lime into the soil. So when we do the next harvest here in the next few episodes... Uh, our yield will be really high and we'll get a little bit of extra money and stuff from it So let's go ahead and do this and this is actually pretty loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down It's loud like outside the vehicle. So uh, vehicle volume. Let's go down to 20% all this go down to 20 There we go. Yeah, that's better uh, I'll look in the recording if it's too loud or too quiet for you guys I want you guys to be able to hear the vehicles and stuff still so uh, yeah, I'll probably figure that out in the next episode and Maybe we should have got the John Deere. Uh, I think it could have pulled this a little bit better. But uh, this is going fine, I guess. We're only going 5 miles an hour. 6 now. And we're going up a hill, so I, it's obviously not going to be a speed demon. And we're pulling a pretty big cultivator, ripping up roots and all that good stuff here. Well, not really ripping up roots. That's more of a plow's job, but we're doing stuff, okay? We're doing stuff. So, uh... This farming simulator let's play is pretty chill. I like to uh, just talk with you guys on these videos. My Hunter Call the Wild and other videos like that, I'm more serious into the game. Uh, but this, I'm just chilling, you know. It gives me time to talk with you guys, interact with my subscribers. And uh, we'll just go ahead and do a little pass like this I like to do sometimes. We'll just cut it out in the middle here. And then we'll loop around. I'll show you how we do that. I'll try and straight, stay as straight as possible. You know, just so it looks better and it's not super complicated to cultivate. But anyways, um, how are you guys doing? Let me know. I've been doing pretty good. I've uh, been waiting for my new pop filter for my new microphone to come in. I'm using my old one and it's kind of like ghetto rigged onto it. Uh, it doesn't really work that well. It's super big in front of my face and it just it, it's not fun having it in the way. Uh, it's blocking all the controls on it like the mute button, the volume, the gain and all that stuff. So it's kind of annoying. And uh, the, the new pop filter that I'm getting here soon... Maybe even the day, the day this is going up. I think this is going up on Thursday. Uh, it should be a new pop filter. It's like a little foam one that goes over the microphone instead of like the little windscreen that goes in front of it. You probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, made an upgrade to the Blue Yeti. I used to have the Blue Snowball. That is a great beginner microphone. I uh, made many, many videos with it. And it served me some good purpose over, you know, like however long I had it, like a year or so. And it, it's only like $60 microphone, and it's very, very high quality for its price, and it's very good for a beginner that is, you know, trying to save their money and just get into YouTube with, you know, half-decent stuff. Well, it's, I would say it's decent, not even half-decent. 
But anyways, like I was saying, we'll time lapse the rest of the field. I don't know, maybe cut it, the whole thing out. I don't know. I don't want to make this such a long process for the video. That way the video is not like 30 minutes long. Uh, I'll try and keep these videos within like 15 to 20 maybe. maybe probably like 15. I don't really want to go over 15 minutes, but 20 is probably my max. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys like the longer videos or the shorter videos? I know a lot of you, uh, most of you guys don't really care if it's long or short. You just, you know, you enjoy watching the videos, which I appreciate that a lot. Uh, just to know that there's going to be people watching my videos no matter what they are and how long or short they are uh, means a lot to me. So thank you guys for that. And, uh, you know, we only got maybe one or two more passes here. And then we will be done. Well, at least for the video's sake, I guess. And then we'll move on to the time lapse. Probably going to put some, I don't know, good music behind it. I don't know. Rap. I don't I don't know. Whatever I feel like. Uh, I don't want to put it out like, bing, 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 bing. I mean, it makes sense for the farm sim game. There's nothing wrong with that music, but I don't know. I just, I prefer more hype music in my YouTube videos, but I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually whenever I'm editing this video. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about. I'm bad at talking, man. This, my farm, my other episodes that I make on like the Hunter Call of the Wild, you know, where I'm not talking about other things are pretty easy to make because I'm, you know, just talking about the game most of the time. Uh, but I guess I could talk about the game. Uh, I, I get a few comments every now and then. Like on my uh, first look video that has like 4,000 views on it. So thank you guys so much for that. It's pretty insane. And, uh, you know, I get questions about this game on that pretty often. And uh, a lot of people are asking, is this game worth it? I think so. It definitely needs a lot of things added to it. Uh, like mod-wise, you know, we need the Seasons mod. We need a bunch of other mods. Uh, definitely maps. I don't really like these maps. I do, but they're not my favorite. Definitely not the best. I feel like they could have done a better job with the maps, you know, more detail and hell, maybe even give us more maps because that would have been even cooler. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a fun game. I, I give it, I would purchase it, you know, if you're still stuck on FS17, uh, I would definitely make the upgrade because it's, it's well worth it. Much more detail, much more in-depth, you know, look at your cab, you know, you, you can all watch that in my first look video if you haven't seen that, go check it out. You know, just I think it was the day that the game came out. I played and you know, make it made a video about it, and uh, yeah, it did pretty well. So we got this tiny little path here to do, a little strip, and we will be done. Well, at least halfway done. Really good looking game, that's for sure. Really nice looking game. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and start the time lapse. So, I will see you guys once we are done with this. Actually, you know what? I have an even better idea. That way we can do more, uh, you know, save more time, I guess, by doing like two things at once. So, I had. A job dude, a little uh, assistant or whatever the hell his name is, come or a helper. I think that's what they're called. Hire a helper. He's he's gonna be cultivating the rest of that field for us. We're gonna be paying them decent money, so he's he's gonna be happy. And I think let's check our map again. Let's go over here. And this one, field 21, it has already been cultivated. So, uh oh, what's C doing? Helper C. Hopefully he's not running into a tree or anything. But anyways. Field 21 has already been cultivated, cultivated, so I think we're going to grab this thing here. We're going to connect it to the John Deere, which is our biggest and most powerful tractor that we have at the moment. And uh, I think it's the only one capable of pulling that. And uh, we're going to go plant something. I don't know what we're going to plant yet. Maybe canola. I'm thinking canola because that's a pretty good crop and it normally gives you a good amount of money. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and connect this bad boy up real quick. Hop into the cab view here. And back it on up. I don't know if there's seed in it, and there is not. So we're going to have to run over to the store. And I think I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to go run over to the store, fill this thing up, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. And uh, hey, if you guys have not left a v like on the video yet, let's go for 20 likes on this video. I know that's a pretty big goal, but I feel like you guys can do that pretty easily. So yeah, 20 likes. Is it possible? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see if you guys can do it. So it looks like we have a weed infestation over here, which I think this cultivator or this sewing machine or whatever the hell this is can remove these when it's 
uh, planting. So it shouldn't be a problem. We probably should go through here and spray, but I don't really want to do that. I think this will just this will be just fine. We can fertilize it later, and it should be the f same thing. So I want to go ahead and go over here and like look at all these here. So actually, where is the help? So I want to see what all the seeds are. I forgot. Uh, here, um, crops. You have barley, blah, blah blah blah, wheat, barley. So we're gonna do canola. Canola looks like this, I think. Let me look. Uh, uh, I can't. I keep passing it up. I think that's canola. Is it? Mm, yeah, canola. Okay, we got it right. So, we got to go ahead and unfold this machine here. We might need to move over to the left a little bit, yeah. Or we get the whole field or whatever, the whole little side there. Don't miss any. And I think we got to lower it. And go ahead and turn it on is it on yeah it's on okay yeah it is removing the weeds oops okay we're going off track a little bit okay not a big deal whatever uh okay sweet all right we are getting this show on the road all right we are planting our first crops of this let's play sweet i'm hoping we have many more episodes to come as long as everything goes well uh i don't know exactly where we're going to go with this let's play i want to you know do some stuff with animals and stuff like that chickens and all that good stuff and this thing is really good at turning sweet so that'll be helpful and we'll do a couple rows with this and I think I'm actually gonna time-lapse this I didn't time-lapse that because we hired the dude and I think he's done over there uh, is he I think so no he has a couple more things left I can see uh, so he will get that done no problem but this is going pretty good I love cultivating because look at the trail behind it it's just so satisfying to me and you can just go off the you know off in the grass there and it won't lose any seeds because it's not gonna plant it out there in the grass just limits it to the fields which is pretty nice addition to the game well it's been in like every farm sim but you know what i'm saying uh so yeah canola we, the reason we're planting canola is that it normally pays the highest like we can go to this screen here uh you know we got the first little thing there that is wheat then we have barley then we have canola and you can see barley is doing pretty good right now at the port grain elevator it's at a thousand dollars a liter a thousand liters i think that's how it goes every yeah one thousand liters is one thousand dollars uh, and then over there at the port grain elevator for uh, canola, it's $1,200 and $1,200 at the sawmill and at the ranch, it's 1000 So pretty good prices all around it. So this is what we're going to start off with. And that is why we are doing canola. So it's pretty simple. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start the time lapse. So sit back, put your headphones on, whatever. And uh, yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Alrighty, we are done with field 21, so now we're going to move over to field 22. What I'm going to do is set this on a worker, and we're going to take the cultivator and the New Holland back to the farm while this guy's working. And I think we're going to grab the Mahindra Retriever, take it over to the store, and load some seed into the back of it. Uh, well, actually, 
not really seed, but chicken feed, because I think we're going to buy some chickens. Uh, just because that'll give us some eggs, and it'll be a small amount of income that we can get, like, every now and then, you know, once they give us enough eggs. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, there we go. We got that going on with some canola as well. It's getting kind of dark right now. It's 1920 outside, or here today, in the farm. And so, we're going to take this back here. Hopefully, you enjoyed that little time lapse there. I'm... I, I don't really do those too often in any game, so and I feel like this game is suitable for them because if I didn't do those time lapses in these like uh, you know like the long segments of me cultivating a field or plowing a field or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it would make the video really long and boring, and I feel like a lot of people wouldn't want to watch that. So, oh, I just realized uh, we gotta fold this thing up. <laughs> well, uh, rookie, rookie. Uh, Rookie, rookie mistake? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, rookie mistake. Uh, but anyways, yeah. I, I feel like a long video would not be interesting to a lot of people. I don't know. Uh, but that's not what I want to do. I don't want to make a 45 minute long farm sim video. And I don't want to live stream or anything because my internet is too bad to. And I would love to live stream some The Hunter Call of the Wild and stuff one day, guys. But my internet is just, it's not good enough. I cannot, it's going to be terrible quality. It's going to be a five minute delay. It's, no, I'm just not going to deal with, deal with that. Uh, one day when I get better internet, I will definitely start streaming because that, that is what I mainly want to do, man. Like, I really want to stream. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and back this thing up here as best as we can. And boom, that's pretty good right there. Let's take this New Holland over here and park it up, and then we'll grab the Mahindra Retriever. Head over to the store and use our little telehandler to load some chicken feed in the back of it. But first, we're going to go buy some chickens. First of all, let's head over here to our chicken coop thingamabob. Head over here. And we'll buy, we're will buy. we going to buy a lot of chickens, actually. We have $880,000, so we can spend a lot of money. And chickens are not very high maintenance on this game at all. Uh, you pretty much just buy them, and they kind of do the work. And you got to feed them every now and then, and that's about it. And I actually, how do you buy, oh, right here, okay. So, we got chicken white, chicken black, chicken brown, and a rooster. So, we're not going to buy a bunch of roosters. I don't know if that actually matters, if it, like, increases your egg, like, yield or whatever. But, uh, let's just buy, like, I don't know, a bunch of these. And then a bunch of black ones. And then a bunch of brown ones. And then a bunch more white ones. <laughs> oh, oh, capacity's already reached. Okay. Okay, well, let's get rid of some of these then. Let's buy some roosters. Okay. And that is going to cost us $6,500. Okay, now we can go to our animals. And I think it'll tell us how many chickens we have. We have 42 white chickens, 27 brown chickens, 7 roosters, and 24 white ones. Um, so that is pretty cool. That's like, uh, 60, 80-something like chickens, I think. 70, 80-something, 70, 80 chickens. All running around in there. Chilling. Gonna be getting us some eggs. So, this is where we can buy them. This is where the eggs will spawn. Like a little, it'll be like an egg carton type thing. And we can put, load them up and sell them. And this is where we feed them. So, that's why I was thinking, because... We need to, you know, load the feed into here. So I think we're going to buy something. Uh, this little cheap... Actually, should we buy this or this? What's the... Yeah, we'll just buy this right now. We don't need a skid seer. I think that's a little extra for this job. This is pretty much perfect. Yeah. Okay, we'll buy that. And then we got to buy a bucket for it. Or a forklift thingamabob. Hook this guy up. Oh, we got the... What is, is did I buy the new? Yeah, I bought the new Holland one or the Master Ferguson. Which is uh, Master Ferguson? Yeah, uh, I like this. Check that out, man. It's so cool. I love that. Go ahead and connect the pallet fork for us. And um, you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and buy one. We need to buy a wheat bag. So I think we're gonna buy two of these, and we will load one onto here. Take it back. You know, dump it in the chicken pen, take the Mahindra back here, use that to pick up the next one, put it in the back of the Mahindra, and take it back to the farm. 
And by the time we're done with that, I think our assistant dude should be done. Oh, wait, what are we doing? We're running off without our feed. Uh, our assistant dude should be done with the, uh, the field. And we will probably have to fertilize and stuff in the next episode and uh, combine it or harvest it or whatever. So let's go ahead and pick up one of these. Oops, we're a little bit high. <laughs> we're a little bit high. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyways, pick that up. And we're going to head back to the farm, and we will dump this into the chicken pen. And we're going to go up this little hill here. Shouldn't be a problem, though. And we can go up here, and I think this is where we put this. Is it pouring? If yep, it's pouring. And we are stuck right here. Come on, boy. All right, there we go. All right. And let's see how much that fed our chickens. 1,000%, um, okay. That should last a little bit. We'll bring back a couple more. I wish we had one of the trailer mods that they had in FS17. Hopefully we get that soon so we can load like multiple pallets onto, you know, the trailer at one time and then take them back. But we will go ahead and just park this thing up like right over here for now. Yep, park it right here. Boom. I love this little design I made, man. Just have a little bit of extra room. It's cool. All right, we're going to head back to the store in the Mahindra Retriever. Pick up one or two pallets, as many as we can. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it a day, I think. All righty, we are here at the stow. And we're going to go ahead and, like, back up like, right here, I guess. And if we hold L1 and pull down on the right stick, it should lower our thing right there. And, yes, it did. Hop out of there. And we use this my miss this whatever thing my bob here. Actually, I feel like that's a little bit overkill. We'll have two. I think we're gonna use this for like loading into seeds, of uh, like the bigger seeders and fertilizer the machines and stuff. And we'll go ahead and buy this thing my bob here, the forklift, because this is very useful. And we're gonna use this. It's not like we're just wasting thirty-seven thousand dollars. Um, so yeah, we probably could have bought this for the farm, but I think that little front loader that we bought. It's a much better deal because we can scoop things with it, lift things with it, you know, get bales. And it's just an all-around better machine, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and lift this up here. I want to try and stack two on the back of this thing, like one on top of each other. And that way we can, you know, just get two instead of just one. Uh, if that's possible, I don't know. Oh no, it's dumping it into the back. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I did not know that it did that. Well, that gives me another idea. Since that happened, we can find a designated spot for this, pour it out. I can buy a bucket for our front loader, and whenever we need seed, I can just go up, scoop some, and then drop it into our little chicken thing, Bob. Well, I guess I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I... <laughs> we need to strap this in don't need to go nowhere all right uh well that was unexpected i didn't i did not expect that to be honest with you well man i'm i'm stupid okay we are back here i think we're gonna go ahead and go around like over here and i don't know how we dump this do we hit oh we do it just like that oh that's cool i did not know it did that whoa that's freaking cool that's really neat i did not know you could do that with this thing what that's sick. I wish I had the John Deere Gator, man. But, you know, I didn't get the special edition or whatever. Oh, I forgot my things back there. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back, get the rest of the seed, come back, dump it off, and then in the next episode, we will get a bucket and all that good stuff. And, yeah, use it for whatever. And let's dump it right on top of here. <clears throat> and, boom, we got this little pile. Like I said, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and get a little bucket attachment for our little loader right there. That way we can scoop that stuff up and go over there and dump it into the trough for the chickens. So the chickens will be producing eggs slowly but surely. And there will be just an extra little bit of money that we can make on the farm. Uh, it's not going to be a huge amount of money, but, you know, obviously the more eggs you get, the more money you're going to get. And that is going to be it for today's episode of Farming Simulator 2019. I know I said 
like some point in this video that this is supposed to be a shorter video like this is probably going to be like 10 to 15 minutes which i think this is going to be longer i don't know once i get done editing i feel like this is going to be like 25 minutes so sorry about the longer videos hopefully you guys don't mind and if you did enjoy and want to see more please be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you have not already and uh yeah it's been risky and i'll see you guys in the next one later